Hey, what's going on guys? Simzy here, and today we're going to continue our How to Defend series, moving on to the map cafe. We're going to be starting out on the top floor cocktail bar defense, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the channel. Recently, we hit 4,000 subscribers this morning, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You guys are insane. But anyways, let's get into the video. So when it comes to defending cocktail and bar, you're going to want to bring a smoke, a Jaeger, a maestro, and if Mira is available, I highly recommend bringing a Mira, so I'll show you guys the Mira setup for her, but if she is banned, I'll also recommend bringing a Malusi or a Wamai, and then as for the fifth operator, I highly recommend bringing a Falk if she is available and not banned, uh, because it's just, there's so many camp spots on this map that there's almost no reason not to bring her. So when it comes to reinforcements, you're going to want to get the single cocktail wall. You want to get the single tarps to freezer wall. Two of the freezer walls facing Christmas. Two of the bathroom walls facing Christmas. Two of the red walls. And when it comes to the last two reinforcements, one of them for sure I recommend putting in the bathroom next to freezer. And then you can either make a rotate hole on the left hand side, or you can completely reinforce this off. And that will be all 10 reinforcements. If you Anyways, let's talk about utility. So we're going to be starting out with smoke like we always do. I'm going to show you guys the rotate holes and the lines of sight that you're going to need to make. So starting out with the first one, you're going to make a crouch vault hole through the freezer to tarp wall. You're going to open up a crouch hole right here on the cocktail to bar wall. Make sure you shock and open this bar a little bit, even maybe bring somebody with impacts like the maestro can bring an impact and impact this bar open. This is a very common default plant and shotgunning it is kind of annoying, so impacting it completely will make it a lot easier. You're going to want to shotgun the bar here as well because this is another common default plant spot, so you're going to want to open that up so it makes it unsafe for the attackers. Now, with this cart wall or trash wall, people call it, typically you would want to make some sort of holes, either head holes or feet holes, but if we go to the other side, as you can see, if you open up uh, just a little bit under head level, you can actually make a hole through the floor, through the wall, so that somebody late round can sit right around here, looking up through these holes. So if people are pushing through the freezer wall, the person down there could potentially get the pick on the person pushing in, or if they're thermiting a wall or something like that, then they should be able to kill them from down below. As for the bathroom wall, a lot of the time people like to make rotates here. It's up to you. Um, I definitely, I played with both of them, so it's they both work to make the rotate hole on the left-hand side here, and then you would typically reinforce this right-hand side, but if you want to reinforce both, you could do that as well. That's perfectly fine, and the attackers are forced to push through wide hallway. But that's pretty much it for your rotation holes in line of sight. When I play smoke, I typically play right around uh, here. I play wood stack, tarp, I go back to uh, cocktail every now and then, and early round I play inside a freezer because there's a few holes that you can make from above um, to watch certain angles. Like you could watch the dining door, you could watch the reading door from above, but as for smokes, I would typically play wood stack because you could throw a smoke like this, and this smoke pretty much lands in all of the more common default plant spots. People like to plant close on the cart wall. People like to plant on the trash store, so you could throw a smoke that lands closer to this. Again, this is another common default plant spot, and they'll get smoked off from there as well. And then as for the other plant spot, I don't have a another shock and show, but I would typically shock in this wall open, and you could throw a smoke to the back corner of that plant spot. So if they're planting here, they get smoked out. So as for your shield, I'm going to show you guys, just putting it in pixel corner is very strong. You break the bench here, you put a couple ADSs on this wall, you place it in pixel corner, and you're still able to play here for a little bit. I know you, you can't play here for as long as you used to, but still playing in pixel corner is very important. So anyways, let's move on to the next operator. So we're going to be moving on to Jaeger. So you're going to start by placing two ADSs in pixel corner, break the bench here just by punching the bottom of the legs, and you'll be able to put two ADSs right where I do. You're going to place a shield in pixel. That'll be the smoke shield, as I showed you guys previously. And then as for your barbed wire, you're going to place one on the cigar shop door into bar. And then the other one's going to go on the white stairs. As for your final ADS, there are a few spots that you can place it, depending on what sort of area you want to cover. But one of those is going to be inside a freezer. You can either put it inside a freezer or just in the freezer bar back stock, like on this wall here, so that it covers anything coming through this freezer wall. If not, I recommend placing it underneath the skylight to cover the evil eye that should realistically be somewhere in sight. A lot of the time, people like to place their evil eyes up on the second pillar, especially on the heaven bar as well. So you can put an ADS underneath skylight to kind of cover that at the very least. And then as for your positioning, you're going to be roaming 
downstairs early. You're going to try to help the Valkyrie roaming underneath to potentially get a Nitro, potentially get some picks, shoot some drones. If the attackers decide to roam clear you guys, it's going to be your job to kind of play together. But at the end of the day, you want to try and get out without dying. You don't want to roam until your death. You want to make sure you try to get back to site so that you can either play, you know, top white stairs to cover the pixel corner door. You can sit in sight, you know, peek the freezer wall, help out, just help out your teammates in sight overall, wherever you think you need to be, just to cover a specific angle since you do have the better gun on site. But for the most part, that's pretty much already going to be doing as Jaeger. So we're going to be moving on to Maestro here. So I'm going to show you guys a couple good Evil eye spots that you guys can utilize. So the first one's going to be on Heaven. You just vault up on the bar. You place it up high so that you can see the new hatch. You can see a majority of the site. The second one is going to be on this pillar here. The third spot's going to be on this pillar here. And then as for the fourth camp spot, I know some people like to place their cam inside of Christmas just to zap some drones early around just to get rid of the drone economy. And to do that, you're going to vault up on the railing. You're going to look right around where I do on the left hand side and you're going to be able to place your evil eye like so. And like I said, it's only going to be there to shoot drone economy. Um, it's not really expected to live that long, so it's completely up to you guys on what sort of spot you want to utilize between those four, because those are some really good spots that you guys can use. As for your positioning, you're pretty much going to be playing inside a cocktail the entire time. You're going to have a rotate hole on the right-hand side here. You're going to have a reinforcement on the left-hand side so that you can have some cover. And then I like to open up the right side here make some holes in the, the bar so you break the railing here and there's some holes that you can use inside of the bar people like to kind of shock in and open a little bit you don't want to make it too obvious because on the other side if you make it as small as possible you can actually uh, pretty much be almost invisible in a way it's not really that obvious as you can see from this point of view and then that's pretty much it uh, you can bring impacts to impact this bar just so that it's you know more unsafe for the attackers to, to try and plant there but that's pretty much all you do as Maestro. There's not a whole lot to do. You want to try to stay alive, maybe take some of these gunfights in Cigar Shop if you feel confident enough to do so. And then that's it. All right, moving on to Mira. Now, she's not always available on this map, but I do want to show you guys a Mira setup that you guys can use if she is available for whatever reason. So you're going to place a Mira on the right side wall here. You're going to have this reinforced anyways, so you're going to use the mirror on this wall. You're going to open up the entire freezer wall. I also opened up part of the cart wall so that you can have the other mirror get some other angles as well. But the second mirror is going to be on the cocktail single wall. And as I said, you can get some angles from here, people repelling on the piano window, um, maybe take some of these gunfights. But this is going to be the setup, and this is going to allow you to pretty much hold Christmas the entire time. It's very hard for the attackers to actually pop these mirrors, and it's as simple as having somebody bring a bandit or uh, a mute instead of the smoke, or you have somebody sitting inside a freezer and they can shoot the pellets off of this wall. And they can shoot the pellets off of this wall as well, especially if you shock on the bottom of this bar here. Even if they Habana or Ace the bottom part of the wall on Cocktail, you'll be able to shoot it from here. So that's all you need to do. And I still recommend playing inside of Pixel Corner, but I'll show you guys that with the next operator. But anyways, yeah, this is pretty much the mirror setup. So we're going to be moving on to Amai. You can also switch this out for a Malusi if you don't necessarily want to play in Pixel Corner with the Amai. But you're going to have a shield from Smoke in this corner. And then you're going to play the Wamai here, because realistically, Jaeger and Wamai is still very viable, although you can't play in Pixel Corner as long as you used to. You still want to play here to waste some time, because realistically, you don't want to give this control to the attackers for free. So you're going to be playing in Pixel, and you're just going to be using your discs on whatever spot you think is good. Um, people like to place it here, people like to place it here. Um, you know, just try to make it so the attackers are forced to burn your Wamais before burning the ADSs. And then a good thing that you can also do is, let's say the attackers throw a stun and they burn one ADS. If you can time the magnet perfectly where they throw one stun, it pops one ADS. But while that first stun's thrown, pops that first one, the second one gets thrown and it gets caught by the Wamai. Or um, wait for both ADSs to be burnt before throwing your next Wamai disc so your Wamai technically catches like the nade, for example, or the ash charge or the impact that's coming for your shield. But when you give up Pixel Corner, which is the goal, you want to pretty much play here as long as possible, but give it up, you don't want to die here, you're going to be just coming back to site. You can either play Woodstack to hold Pixel Door, you can hop inside a Freezer, play inside a Freezer, take some gunfights, you can sit in Cocktail and take some gunfights from here as well. This really depends on what sort of positioning you want to hold. Um, holding Whitehall is very important, and typically it's better for like the Wamai or the Jaeger, or somebody just with a better gun to hold the pixel door. Um, it shouldn't really be the smoke straw because it's kind of hard to take some of these gunfights. 
but that's pretty much going to be your setup for my. Alright, so we're going to be moving on to Valkyrie here. If she is available, I highly recommend bringing her. I'm not really going to show you guys specific Valkam spots, but I will show you areas that you want to most likely have some sort of info. So, the first one's going to be inside of Christmas. There are quite a few good camp spots in here. Um, so, definitely throw a cam inside of this room, just because you want some info. And realistically, you might be able to pull off a Nitro on anybody kind of sitting in here. As for the other spot, I recommend having something in sight. For example, something up in this corner. Just some info in sight if they do push through cocktail or cigar door or push from new hatch inside of the objective. You want to have some info on where the plant's going down. If it's going to be here, it's going to be over here or anything like that. As for your third cam, it's completely up to you. You can even throw it outside. Um, maybe you can put it inside of pillars if you want some pillars info just in case the attackers are deciding to roam clear you guys. Um, it's completely up to you, but that last cam is just kind of a freebie where you think the attackers may push you from, or just some sort of info that you want to have personally. As for your positioning, you're going to be roaming early round. As I said earlier with the Christmas cam, you're going to want to possibly play in train, maybe play in dining, um, maybe play inside of mining, just to try to see if you can potentially get some drones early round, maybe the attackers decide to roam clear, so you can maybe take some gunfights early, but more importantly, you could potentially get yourself a nitro pick. On somebody inside of Christmas. If you guys made it to the end of the video, let's get some Merry Christmases in the comments down below. So wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button so that you guys don't miss any future videos. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. You guys are so good. Op 4 eliminated. The flank, baby. Let's go.